I am back today with the part two of last week's video just to share with you some of the other pieces that came in my box and I decided to split this video so today I am going to be sharing the Rebecca cardigan the the crop pants that they just released which are really nice but I have to talk to you about them in the Gaspar jumper but before we get into the video I have to share with you this gorgeous ring that I was sent I was gifted by she said yes it is the most beautiful ring I have ever owned. I'm gonna show you guys all the details. The one that I picked is in moissanite and rose gold, and it's absolutely stunning. So it came with this 15% off. And by the way, I have a discount code for you. So they have a huge variety of pieces. They work with fine jewelry, solid gold, and you can find in 10 karat, 14 karat, or 18 karat. They are absolutely beautiful and you can customize your jewelry. It came with this little paper here with the instructions on how to take care of your jewelry. And I love the fact that it came like this because it's just ready to give as a gift. Even if you don't have someone to gift, you can still gift it to yourself. It came with the little bag and with a little ribbon that has the She Said Yes logo. And of course, this gorgeous case which is so stunning and really high-end, like the way you feel it, you can tell. And here it is. I mean, look how stunning that is. I'll show you guys all the details. But I have to say that I am so in love with this ring. I got mine in size 8. So it is slightly big for me because I wanted to get this for my middle finger or my pointer. And I think on my pointer is actually perfect so i'll show you the details the ring is so beautiful it's really gorgeous it really captures the light so well and i'm going to show you guys um the difference between for example zirconia and the diamond the moissanite i don't know if you can tell those are actually bigger but if you see like even though these are smaller they capture so much more light they're not dull and they just look amazing the stones they have that also with gemstones with i think which i think is so cool because you can simply put all the colors you want i've seen on the website you can just pick for example you can put pink on one side and you can put a little other color like in the middle so you can really customize your rings and make the way you want they also have earrings and necklaces bracelets so I am really in love with the brand. I am definitely going to get a few pieces for myself and to give as a gift because I think this is absolutely stunning and such a beautiful gift that anyone would simply love. Because it says, she said, yes, it doesn't have to necessarily be a proposal. <laughs> it could be just to yourself. You could say yes to yourself or just to a friend, um, just to celebrate love and to celebrate all the beauty that is in life. So love this i hope you guys enjoy and take a look at the website i am leaving the link below and you can get 10 percent off with my code i'm going to leave it here and also in the description box so i am absolutely in love and hope you guys love it too let me know below what you think about it now we can get into the video so i'm actually going to start from the rebecca cardigan when i saw this on the website I said I need this card again because it's just so unique. I love, love everything about it, including the color. Um, I heard a lot of people saying that they're going to wait for a you know different color when they release, but I just love this beige so much. I think it's beautiful. When you put this against white, you can see that the difference. I feel like it's the perfect nude kind of pinky beige like rosy beige and I think it's just so good it looks a lot like semi jumper but I would say that this one's a little bit more saturated so this here and the semi jumper together I would say they are very similar very very similar this one's a tiny bit more gray and this one's a little bit lighter I would say in color but very similar I think this is the perfect kind of beige. I think it's beautiful. It's neutral, not too warm, not too cool. So I really love it. I got this one in two sizes because I wasn't sure if it was going to sell out. And you know how Cezanne is. Sometimes you see a beautiful piece and then 
a few hours later everything is gone i don't know if you guys got anything from the new collection the collab with c new york i think they're beautiful but they're really not my style so i decided to pass on them i think some of the pieces i might try if i go to the store but i didn't feel like i needed to actually bring them to the channel but if you guys want to see something let me know maybe you can just go to the store and do a try on for you guys so the rebecca cardigan i got in two sizes honestly i prefer the extra small on me i do feel like they fit similarly but because it has so many details and it has you know the the this kind of sleeves and also has this i felt like this extra small looked nicer on me but i would love to hear from you guys your opinion i just felt like this looked more flattering but anyways i think um it's very personal you can either get your usual size or size down i think you should be completely fine the sleeves are not short or anything so either size was fine for me it's 50 percent merino wool and 50 percent cotton so not itchy you guys always ask me which design knits are not itchy here's one of them this one's not itchy at all it's very comfortable it has this ribbed knit on the back it's a good length, I would say, not too cropped, but it's also not too long. I think it's a perfect length if you want to tuck in. And that's something I love about Cezanne, because you guys know I like to tuck in my sweaters. If it's too cropped, then it's really hard to do it. And if it's too long, it just looks way too bulky. So I think the length is perfect. I love this cardigan. I think it's so romantic, so beautiful. I do not wear as a cardigan. I only wear as a sweater but this is personal you can do either way and i think it's going to look gorgeous the next piece i want to share with you is the new gaspar jumper you guys know that i have quite a few gaspar sweaters or cardigans and i think it's a great basic a great piece like foundation you know for your entire outfit i think those knits are so classic they never go out of style and they're just perfect for layering because it doesn't feel too bulky if you want to wear a jacket or another, even another knit on the top of it. Or if you want to wear something inside, like underneath, because of the, the scratchiness. So the Gaspard, to me at least, they do feel scratchy. I hear a lot of people saying that Gaspards are not scratchy. To me, they do feel a little bit scratchy. Some are more than others. I actually have mentioned that in one of my videos i'm linking it here in case you guys want to see the comparison between berry jumper and gaspar but to me it does feel a little bit itchy so i'm gonna tell you guys how i wear this in a minute 37 percent kid mohair 37 percent baby alpaca and 26 percent polyamide so one way that i like to wear this is by adding a long sleeve shirt by uniqlo that long sleeve shirt actually is the only piece i've found so far that i can actually wear with a scoop neck because gaspar kind of has a bolt neck and if you just try to wear any shirt underneath like a regular one sometimes it shows it here and it doesn't look very nice unless it's like the same color or just coordinates but this uniqlo in just a nude color like the the color of my skin it was really great because it has a scoop neck and then it doesn't show on that part so i really like it and i'm going to link in the description box in case you guys want to take a look at them they have in so many colors and i think they're great so i got the gas part in a crew and navy i think it's a beautiful staple piece i also have the theodora that i reviewed last week so if you guys haven't seen i'm also linking it here and I think it's a beautiful combination. I did feel like for some reason, this one was a little bit smaller than my other glass parts. Even when I hold the sleeve, it just feels so small, like so narrow. I don't know if they changed that now or if it's just this one that I got, but I do feel that this one ran a little bit smaller than the ones that I have. So in general, like everywhere was fine. But I felt like the sleeves in particular, the sleeves, they were a little bit too tight on me. I, like I mentioned, I like to wear my gas part with something underneath most of the time, I would say, especially because you want to protect that knit. So I love the pattern. I think it's a beautiful knit for everything that I mentioned. But unfortunately, this one was a little too small for me. So the extra small, which is my usual size for gas part, I felt like they were too small. 
I do have, you know, Barry, I have Gaspard all in extra small. And I feel like at least the old versions, I feel like it's my usual size. So in general, I wear small for Cezanne. So you guys can see so many videos that I have, I have been sharing. Now the next piece is the crop, Le Cro. It's a beautiful, of course, of course, denim, beautiful pants. But when I look at them, <laughs> when you look at them, you can already tell how straight that is and how impossible <laughs> this would be on me. Um, I had the hopes, but at the same time, I knew it was going to be really hard for it to work. So I'm just going to share the two of them real quick with you and tell you the truth about it. I laughed when Cezanne said that this would suit everyone. I was like, mm, is it true? I don't think it's true. I don't think this is suitable for uh, women with curves. You know, usually it is hard for me to find pants because I have this smaller waist compared to my hips. I wouldn't say my waist is small. It's mostly my hips are really big for my time, my body frame. So it's very hard to find trousers and especially jeans that work for me. When I find them, I celebrate them. I get like a champagne and I just toast because it's a rare find. But this one in particular was so bad. It was such a bad fit. I love, just so you know, I love the fabric. You can tell how amazing, how amazing this is constructed. It's well made. The fabric is really good. Amazing quality, 100% cotton. I can only say great things about this piece. I think the style is beautiful as well. The wash is amazing as well. The fit on me is terrible. So unfortunately, this one's going back. I got this in size six. I'm always in between four and six. The four would not have gone up my legs. I'm 100% sure about that because even this one was a little hard to pull up. But then when I, I put it on, it was okay like to close. It didn't have a problem to close the, the pants. The problem is just that there's this giant gap on my waist. I know you can take it to a tailor, but I prefer to just try to find a perfect pair of pants. So this one actually fit me a little bit better. It doesn't have this huge gap. Also, it feels a little bit more malleable than this. This one feels more stiff for sure. This is how the color looks like. I had the boot sexy in this blue edge and it wasn't as white as this. It had more, you know, the more of the blue, I believe. I can't really remember because I didn't keep mine. But this one wasn't as bad. If you look at it, this one's slightly more curvy. You can see that the waist is a little bit smaller than the hips. When you compare them, even though both are a size six, you can see that this one's bigger. And I think that's why it gave me that huge gap on my waist. Like this one has a little gap, but this one has a really big gap. So for some reason, they are not the same size, even though they are six. I cannot tell for sure if it's just the wash that's different or if I got one of the pants that were like that. Like sometimes, even if you get uh, this, maybe three pants, same style, but size six, they can all fit slightly different because a little bit of a change can just transform the entire outfit. And my mom always said that. She's a seamstress and she always told me that. Like you have to really cut correctly and you have to make sure that you're sewing correctly because otherwise this changes so much, like a tiny detail can change everything. If you guys haven't seen my latest archives video, you should actually. And in one of them, I mentioned that the William shorts, I got in, I got accidentally two William shorts in leather and they are both size 36 or four, but they do not fit the same. One of them is so much bigger than the other. So you can't be sure cannot be sure but I would say if you are in between sizes I would size up because this is really stiff and it's going to be hard to put on obviously it's a hundred percent cotton so this would definitely stretch out as you wear so definitely keep that in mind but obviously you can just get a size down because you won't even be able to put it on so just either stick to your usual size if you have always worn this However, if you're in between sizes, I would just size up for maximum comfort. You can always tailor this and you can always put a belt on, you know, to make it more, make it a better fit. So they're really cute. I think they are a great idea, but unfortunately not very good for 
curvy women i do feel like the crop also didn't work in terms of length for me it just feels like a regular length because i am five foot five i do not think i have very short legs but to me it just didn't look as cropped as on the models models i am not surprised obviously i'm just letting you guys, you guys know so i hope you like this video don't forget to give the thumbs up if you haven't watched the first part of this video I am sharing it here so you guys can take a look. And again, everything is linked below in case you want to get them. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.